snagged it let's go let's look at this thing guys the joker steel book my god yes all right we gotta go yeah we gotta get out of here we gotta get out of this area guys we gotta find some place to hide and i know that one place there it is best buy take it since the coast is clear let's go inside let's do some bluer hunting oh yeah here we go we made it inside and what do we got for new releases over here. We don't think there's a lot coming out today. Look at this. We still got an extra steelbook 4K of the town. The only coffee. No Inception though. All Inception is completely gone. But once again, they still got plenty of coffees of Wonder Woman. That's pretty much it, guys. Still Bloodshot. Two coffees of the 4K steelbook. Trolls is still hanging around. Still haven't seen the Sonic steelbook anywhere. I haven't seen it in person. Still got the Onward 4K steelbook. Look at this. They got the Jesus Rolls on Blu-ray. Spin off off of Big Lebowski. I think people said that was okay. Probably gonna put that back. Who got cats? Gotta go with the cats. Oh, check this out right here. The Joker, guys. Definitely pick up the Joker. He always got another side to go check. So let's do that now. All right, what do we have over here? <gasps> Yes. No, I'm just kidding. I don't need that. But look at this. They got the Avengers 4K and the Blu-ray. It looks like they're just filling empty spaces. Got Doodle, which is a perfect movie to fill up a space. I think there's really nothing. All seems to be the usual titles. So don't need the fair. We always got the Blu-ray section. So hopefully they got something over there. Gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, hopefully there might be a surprise over there. Who knows? But we gotta go check it out and see what they got. It's the Blu-ray section and around the corner. They still got the cast for a DVD lenticular. No one on the steelbook. The steelbook is completely gone. Wait, wait, wait. They do got the steelbooks going on over here. Still got more cast for steelbooks. Always like to see the more steelbooks. The more steelbooks, the better, damn it. That should be the slogan in life. We have the complete first season of Batwoman for, for 30 bucks. But um, honestly, I'm probably going to have to pass on that. And then we have the outpost. The mission was survival. Well, did they survive? find out next week and brought back some more of the transformer steelbooks pretty sweet just keep stalking the steelbooks baby look at this guys the grease steelbook but for 10 bucks i don't have this one i picked up the digibook this is this is the first time i'm seeing this one you know what i actually might just pick this one up in grease man i got chills and they're multiplying. Told you last week that anime is just killing it with these steelbooks once again your name which i never heard about and it's 30 bucks but that cover artwork is amazing look how sweet that is the sky the clouds and the colors the sunset it's very nice we got a couple of coffees over there i added spartacus on 4k i could pick that one up for 20 bucks all right guys there was a lot going on over there not anticipating like this grease steel one it's grease lightning i think this is a pickup right here look at it. it's just john travolta He's amazing in this. What about the 4Ks? It's kind of calling my name. Well, maybe not this slip cover. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, that's, that's not good. This slip cover right here is nice, though. And it's just half on Nicolas Cage's face. Take his face and swap it with John Travolta. All right, what do we have in here? Do we have anything else? They got Clueless going on. There's still a copy of Clueless. And yeah, that seems to be about it. That's all I'm seeing, guys. Like I said, nothing too crazy is coming out today. So that's why I'm very happy that I found this. We're out of Best Buy. 10 bucks. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good deal. Hey, yeah, let's go back to the car. And I can finally take this off. Since the police aren't around, I can show you finally this Joker steel book. Just look at this. I did all this for the Joker. That's right. The Joker is my hero. Because just look at this steel book. Look how beautiful this thing is. We gotta dive deep into this. Come here. I love the artwork. The, this pose, the famous bathroom scene dance. The very interesting dance. Not one I prefer doing, but if it floats his boat, then let it float. I'm just happy to own a Joker steel book. Still haven't seen one in person. And now I have one in my hand. The way he's looking up. And then you got the green and it's just merging into the black and the darkness. Pretty much the Joker's character, light to dark. Title stand out. I ordered this off of McCurry. It's got a couple of dents and some scratches, but that doesn't really bother me. I'll still take it. I, I think the steel book is incredible. We got the back. 
where he's walking into Murray's show. <laughs> That's life. That's life. I love how they use that music. Definitely wasn't my top 10 of last year. Now we gotta open it and see what we got inside. Ooh, uh, we got some inside artwork. No discard work. And all right, there he is. Great shot. What a great shot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It is a deep photo, man. It's a deep photo. It shows the Joker's character. Joker makeup on, but he's sad and mad in the inside. He just wants to be heard. Just hear him out, damn it. He's doing it all wrong. What is this? It's sloppy. I love it, though. It's awesome. I have you, damn it. So there you go, guys. That is what I picked up uh, the past couple of days. The Joker still bought. We're not done with this trip. No, we're going to go to Walmart next. Have a special fan mail unboxing. You guys are just simply incredible. So thank you guys so very much. And oh my God, look at those sweaty armpits. It's turbo time. I mean, Walmart time. Let's do this, guys. There it is, Walmart. Inside Walmart right now. I'm not exactly too sure what we're going to find. It doesn't hurt to try, okay? It never hurts to try, but the Blu-ray section is right over there. So let's go check it out and uh, possibly see what they got. We never check any of this. We always go over there first. Well, because there doesn't seem to be anything new. That's probably why. Yeah, there's a, uh, yeah, it's nothing new. Let's try, we did try. There's nothing over here. Let's get to the new releases. We do have a lot of TV shows like Blue Bloods. We have SWAT and then we have NCIS, New Orleans. Look at this, look at this. This is nice. Deathstroke, Knights and Dragons, the movie. Blu-ray, that's freaking amazing. Here with the DC, the Target has a Steelbook exclusive. Uh, this is something I might want to check out for sure. That cover looks pretty hot, chicken nuggets for sure. Dumped and barbecue sauce in honey mustard. And then right next to it, we have Military Wives. United, they sing. So they sing. Fascinating, never seen any of this. And them in the background singing. I'm gonna probably pass on that. But hold on, what's around the corner? <laughs> Look at these titles. Walmart has the weirdest titles of all time. The V8 2? What is this? What are you? They got the Blu-ray and the DVD. We have this one right here, Circus Null. <laughs> Has even heard of anything like this? 15 bucks too. It's very fascinating, I will say. We have Ghosts of War, which I've never even heard of. Look at this one. Revenge. <laughs> like a pregnant lady with getting revenge? Shutter exclusive. <laughs> Actually kind of fascinating, I'm not gonna lie. Pregnant lady get revenge. I dig it. I support it. And look at this one right here. The bad nun. Nun, you, you've been very bad. Time out. Get in your corner. Look at this slip over though. It's been 24 hours. I kind of dig that slip. Pray you'll never run out of gas. What kind of gas? Farting gas? Uh, but look at the back. Whoa, that is nice. It kind of has that vibe of vacancy mixed with, I know what you did last summer. Seen it? Let me know. We saw these titles. Let's go check out the Blu-ray section and hopefully we find some more. Got this right here. Mickey Hot Diggity Dog. <laughs> I remember my nephew used to watch this to sing the song. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Oh, look at this one though. This is kind of a nice slip cover to it. Dog's Courage. It looks like some nice fancy animated show about dogs. Encouragement. I support that as well. That's pretty cool though. Weird looking slip, but I'm fascinated at the same time. Look at this right next to it. A, the, the barge people. Look at that sexy beast. Oh, and you can feel them. That's what I look like in the morning. <laughs> well, I don't know. This could be fascinating. Oh, the Shutter once again. In the comments, guys, are the Shutter movies good? Kind of fascinating. I'm not going to lie. For a second, guys, I thought a T Rex was holding a minigun. The guy's just holding a flare. It's like a rated G version of Jurassic Park. Like he, has, he does not care in the world. What I found, look at this set, guys. Six movie collection of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Look at this thing. This is incredible. Arnold, just you need Arnold. You need Arnold in your life. It doesn't matter what set of movies. You need them all. Yeah, that's right. I approve of this. This is amazing. Out of Walmart, left empty-handed. Didn't have much in there. Got to get out of there before anyone suspects me. Let's go back to the car, like I said, and show you what we got in the box. Because we got this right here, Grease Lightning. Chicks will scream for Grease Lightning. This is the Grease Lightning Steelbook, and I totally forgot there are two other films included. Uh, Grease 2, they also have the live version as well. It's pretty cool, because I totally had no idea. I totally forgot about that. This Steelbook right here was presented to me. It was like, Dave, take it, and I, I took it. It's got a nice locker room touch to the front. You can see the details with the locker. Now, uh, there you go, is the back. We got some more stickers, some decorations. But did this, oh. 
and a disc just fell. That's great. But this opens with all three discs. We got some inside artwork. Just check that out. A nice collage photos of all three movies. Danny and Sandy. Sandy! But we have this package that we have to open. It's pretty heavy. It's hefty. I gotta open it. Sent by Michael Lux. You're amazing. You're an amazing person for even going out of your way to send something. Thank you so very much. This is awesome. We got a note right here. Ella says, thanks for the content with the exclamation point, Lux. But thank you very much, man, Michael Lux. It truly means a lot. Jordan Sweet, I I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Man, come here. Give me a hug. I don't even know what it is, but it doesn't matter. Give me a hug. Oh my God, I'm excited. I am excited. Holy hot chicken nuggets. All right, so we got that. <laughs> what is going on here? What? Nug life. Oh my. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. That is amazing. I didn't know they made something like that. Gangster chicken nugget. Nug life. That is perfect. I'm definitely going to rock that out as a necklace though. Or as a, a car car freshener. I'm going to wear it next time on my Blu-ray hunting video. Yeah, that's incredible. That's the first thing too. What is this? What do we have here? The Circus of the Dead? What is that? Oh, Circus of the Dead, July 14th. God, that looks pretty terrifying. We have Torpedo. All right. And then what is this? Butt Boy. <laughs> what? Butt Boy. Assume the position. <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah, that's some nice artwork going on. That's pretty cool. Ooh, look at this. Underworld, Blood Wars, Kate Beckinsale. That's a nice looking photo. The photo is sharp. It's crisp. Awesome. Oh, and there's the back, Blood Wars. That's sick. Are these movie cards? Movie postcards, but uh, yeah, there's the back of them as well. Yo, he sent me digital codes. Holy cow, look at all this. Looks like Pennywise. Oh, the interview. Uh, Ghostbusters 2, Deadpool. Oh, the Dark Knight, Batman. He sent me so many. This is incredible. Logan. Oh, some pretty badass move. Rocket Man, which I just picked up. Ah, uh, the Predator. Sick. <laughs> awesome stuff. Thank you so very much. And oh, oh, no, he did not. He went there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to rock it out. I don't care. I'm happy about this. Happy about the St. Louis Blues Stanley Cup winners and not the Boston Bruins. Fine. <laughs> Just give me a moment. <laughs> Dave, you can do this. All right, here we go, right? All right, thank you so very much. <laughs> Close-up shot of the t-shirt. I'm still going to wear it. What do we have in this? I'm excited and I'm nervous at the same time. After that t-shirt, I have no idea. Everything is off limits. Oh my God. These are still books. No way. Look at this. Ghostbusters. But a down a banner. Sealed. What? That's awesome, dude. We own this, but another copy? Hell yeah. I'm definitely taking this one. Plus it's Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is the best. Why not have another copy of this movie? A great looking steelbook. Love the pop art edition. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Dude, that's awesome, man. Thank you so very much. And oh, damn. Look at this bad boy. Full metal jacket. Have not seen this movie. And a lot of you are gonna be like, Dave, what the freak are you doing? Born to kill. I have the steelbook now because of you, Michael. To have this one, I love this. I love the way it looks. I love that glare, the shot, the, like the silver gray. Oh man, that's awesome. That is incredible. A war movie, and I love war movies. I don't know why I haven't seen it yet. I'm definitely gonna check it out now. I'm forward to it. So thank you very much, man. This is fantastic. And oh damn, Pulp Fiction. Once again, striking through with another amazing steelbook. I have not seen the full entire thing of Pulp Fiction, nor do I have a steelbook of this. This is great. Uh, awesome, man. Dude, and it's still freaking sealed. Michael, you definitely made up with that shirt with all these steel books. A lot of people love it. So I definitely have to check out the full entire thing. So cool. Like, oh my God, another one. E.T. I don't have this steel book. I was actually thinking about stagging this at Bull Moose when they had it. Oh, damn. This is incredible. What? E.T. Michael give you to me <laughs> but this is ah i love this steelbook look at the just touching 
Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Work of art. The M8 Steelbook is a work of art thrown into the mix. And these are all Steelbooks. Thank you very much, man. This is incredible Steelbook. That's awesome. Oh my God. Psycho. This is like the Target classic Steelbook that I used to see at Target all the time. But never got, because I was waiting for this moment. I knew Michael Lux would come through one of these days and send it to me. A great movie. Of course, the shower scene is iconic. And just the blood dripping down from the motel. Oh, that's 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 pretty awesome. This, he sent me five steel books, digital codes, this t-shirt, uh, and just that chicken nugget uh, ornament. <laughs> Nug life. That is insane. Michael, thank you. Thank you, okay? Don't thank me. You didn't have to do this. Too kind. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you so very much. Always, guys, we got the birthday shadows. We got a ton going on, so let's get into it. One goes to Caleb. He wants to give his friend Mackenzie Marr a birthday shout out. Uh, her birthday was the second of this month. Well, happy belated birthday, Mackenzie. It was great. Mackenzie, that's a nice name. I like it. You have a great friend in Caleb. Next one goes to Nicholas Trevino. The second. I like that. The second. Birthday falls on August the 23rd. So hopefully you plan for your birthday, man. And hopefully it's fantastic, Nicholas, because you're a great guy. The next one goes to Sabanias Awesome Gaming. Hopefully I pronounce your name right. But I like the title. Awesome Gaming. Birthday is next Thursday. So happy belated birthday. That's awesome. Hopefully it's fantastic. Oh, and hopefully you receive a ton of games. And Marie. Marie is back. And she wants to give her brother Bruce a shout out. A birthday shout out. On August 23rd is his birthday. Man, what a busy month for you, Marie. A lot of birthdays going on. Happy birthday there, Bruce. Remember, fish are friends, not food. I'm going to try and pronounce your name. Uh, Sika Belgia. Hopefully I, <laughs> hopefully I pronounce it. I, I, I probably butchered that really badly. And uh, your birthday is Saturday. It was Saturday, so happy belated birthday. Hopefully I got your name right, and hopefully your birthday was great. This one goes to my boy, Kevin. Kevin, he had a birthday a couple days ago, and just been awesome dude, and I hope you feel so much better, man. I'm rest. You are simply the man. Remember, you influenced me with 12 guns and G-strings <laughs> or something like that. Goes to Iso Benson. And, uh, hopefully, I got that right. Another August birthday. Hopefully, it was fantastic, man. So, I have Brandy 27 Hosh. All right, August 27th. A couple of late birthdays in August. Happy birthday there, Brandy. Uh, Vince LaFrancesca. Uh, I definitely, <laughs> so sorry, buddy. I, I, I try to find your, your birthday shout out in the past two weeks. Please forgive me, but I uh, hope you have a great birthday. You're a really awesome guy, and you deserve it. And next off, we have Gabriel. Gabriel wants to give his mother a birthday shout out. Uh, he says that his mother is turning 24. <laughs> we're all young in our hearts. It doesn't matter what age, we're all young. And her birthday is on August 27th. And um, Gabriel's mom... You have an excellent son who would do this awesome shout out for you. So hopefully you have a great birthday. And at least we have Kevin R. Munn. Kevin R. Munn is going to college. He's graduating. He's going to college, going to Glen Oaks Community College. And he's turning 19 years old. Man, 19 years old. It's great there, Kevin. Congratulations once again and happy birthday. Happy birthday, y'all. Here we go for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And oh my God. Okay, the cops are here. No. Uh-uh-uh. You didn't hit the like button. Uh-uh-uh. You forgot to hit the Patreon page. Uh-uh-uh. You forgot to wear your underwear.